<clears throat> Blue. What's up, everyone? Steve, welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Angel episode number 13 of season number three called Waiting in the Wings. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. Of course, if you have, you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel, you head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction episodes like Shirley over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. You can get episodes here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, previous episodes, <clears throat> or previous episode, was the one about Angel being fascinated by money because he wants to be a provider for his kid. Episode was very okay. Uh, Red got herself in some trouble. Um, Dunn and Wesley are both are into uh, Fred, so we'll see where that goes. Um, and I really want Cordelia and Angel to end up together. That's what I'm pulling for. Um, I just think that they work. Cordelia's grown a lot, and I'm actually pulling for that. So let's see what happens. We're going to hop in here for a good time. Here we go. Honestly, have you ever seen anything lovelier? Slick. Oh. oh, come on. You know you're gorgeous. Uh, oh, she Morning got a bit. Maybe nobody. Oh, those are tickets? You got them? Where are we going? Got to the ticket place. Oh, I'm paying you back. Friends. This is all me. <laughs> Mata Hari is the tightest band. In it's like another world. Gun, these guys are tight, and you're going to be tripping out. Don't be using my own phrases. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, working day, this is the solve. Okay, but it will be the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> You're the bad guy? I guess. Oh, my God, is that Phantom of the Opera? What's happening? What the hell is that? Phantom of the Opera? Be something a black or a burgundy or a other. maroon color. Oh, wait, she Can likes gun. It's not like we said anything. Uh oh. He's so sweet and commanding and fight Chiremption, cinnamon buns. It's fate. It's the stars. Chiremption is stop saying that. And stop calling me pastries. <laughs> You're a man of many limitations, Angel. But Look nice, I mean. Look suave. Oh no, no, this is what? what promises are worth. I'm having a lot of trust issues at this time. Delia, no, you're messing with things you don't understand. <laughs> she wants gun, she doesn't. The athleticism, I mean, some of those jumps were. <laughs> you know, I was cool before I met y'all. <laughs> Not it. I'd know. I'd sense it. <laughs> All the way back there. With the panoramic view. We should check it out. Maybe after the show, we should head backstage. How will the dancers keep time without your rhythmic snoring? <laughs> you don't think that's not coming back to haunt you? Go. Hurry. Damn, I want to go see a show. But maybe she cheated. She had an affair with this guy in front of her man, which is the guy up top. He cursed him. <laughs> Cordelia. Yes. I'm sorry. No. We still need to be out of here. Yes. Or we just go with it and blame the spell. <laughs> out of here. No. Hard. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got another good line. Woo! Whoa. That's a fair assessment. What the hell good is line. that place? There's spirits in there. Energy trapped in time. Either that or someone's in fun. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but that doesn't sound like Cordelia, whatever's happening over there. Oh, shit. Oh shit, it's going down. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> What's that? Oh thank God. What do you mean thank God? Oh what the hell? Okay, 
so good. They were probably interrupted by this Count Kurskoff or... Can you handle the other? I'm going with yes. Well then, just us. Bro, the laughing and the mask. I like them as villains. These guys are creepy, yo. I like it. And here's Wesley. Are they in a room together? Poor Wesley. He's the one that's fought the guy off. Wesley. I don't know who has up with Wesley. Like who Wesley's Wesley wants just wants love. He didn't have a wife though or a girlfriend that was he was really serious with. Makes look. And that's draining his energy. Angel will try to find a way toward the stage. The count will be watching. I bet he is a box. <laughs> find his power source and destroy it. We'll try to loosen his hold. By making more monsters? Man with a frightening plan. Stay close together. Why? Take point. I hope you're in the killing mood. Right, grab a right. weapon. Who wants to see the same performance for a hundred years? So everybody that came here to watch it, are they just seeing it disappearing? Here's. So what does everybody on in the thing think happen? It's a magic show and a ballet. You have no right. Save her. She was my love. She danced only for me. Scene. Anything that might have been no. <laughs> Started. <Turkey. laughs> I just want to pretend it never happened. No, <laughs> no. Thing. Wipe it from my memory. What? Was it like? We grew closer together, and I think. Oh. Grew, princess. Oh, what the crap? Oh. Why? Why? I feared you'd forget who I was. Remind me. Damn it! Well, that's a surprise. I thought for sure she was meant to be with Angel. I guess you never can predict those things. All right. <clears throat> well that was episode number 13 season number three rock solid good episode i really really enjoyed it i thought the ballerina stuff the stuff was really good i thought the love stuff was all really good for like i mentioned in the reaction the sex stuff with spike and buffy bothers me like every time i see it i'm just like ugh. Like it's like nothing i just i'm not into any of it but they did it here similarly to how the sex scenes have been in Buffy. But for some reason here, I'm like super okay. Like I want it. Like I was like, oh, this is good. Um, same and like, you know, same things. Like we were interpreting hands going in places and things like that. So I don't know why. Like, it, it bothers me so much in Buffy. Here I'm like, yo, let's get more of this. You guys deserve it. So it could just be because I actually like these characters a lot. And their chemistry and the relationship and all of it just makes sense to me. Versus on with Spike and Buffy, I'm just kind of like, well, this feels like some sort of unholy alliance. <laughs> um, so I don't know, but I liked it. Thought everything with that was really good. Um, like I said, the ballerina stuff was pretty solid. Uh, I don't. I mean, it was simple. Got. I mean, it was simple where where like it's like a guy obsessed with a woman, um, and then you know defeated him pretty easy uh the the things that he was releasing those uh creature things really cool with the laughing and the mask v for vendetta mask that shit was really really cool i actually like that a lot the way that they were doing that um when it comes to the wesley stuff wesley fred and gun like it's hard not to feel sad for wesley but at the same time you feel happy for gun right like i want like guns with somebody that he really likes and you know it's you know if it's it's up to 
Fred. It's her choice, and she likes Gun. I like that. Like, and I like that the ending was, you know, you never kind of know where things are going to go, and I thought that that was actually really solid, like the way that they twisted it at the end where you think, you know, you watching it, you thought it was going to be Wesley, and then it wasn't Wesley. And then here, I'm pulling for Angel and Cordelia real hard, and then fucking random dude from season two shows up. You're just like, <laughs> why i didn't even like you like that bro stay in your zone um but yeah i don't know i thought that i guess it, i guess cordelia really hasn't really shown she's been into angel romantically really honestly if we think about it not too not, not really that much but it would make sense that when the person that she was in love with from last season shows up that would alter things does make all the sense in the world um how did he get here a portal uh i thought that going to the ballet was cool i thought the stuff with gun by the end of it like liking the ballet and having fun with the ballet was awesome the dresses i like that cordelia was kind of in you know meddling a little bit like oh you know he likes you too but she was talking about somebody else and i thought it was kind of cool the way they did it um i don't know why we didn't invite him to the ballet i guess somebody had to babysit the shit yeah, like the way that they handle these things where Gun comes out and they just kind of look at each other. Like you could, the acting in the eyes between them two, I could feel it. And the acting from Wesley where you could feel the pain at the end and you could feel like he cares about her so much. Um, and I thought when they did the twist here where Angel's like, wait, it's the same performance. As in the same people are still alive doing the performance. But that was really cool. Um, yeah, going down the hallway and then this scene, everything just worked here for me. The way that they did the thing and the sex and about to do the sex. And it worked. It was really good. They didn't do the comedy with the hand thing. I thought that would have been funny, but they kind of chose not to go that route. They also didn't go the route where I thought when Wesley was talking about the person, the the, the jealousy thing, I thought maybe it was going to like be inside of him and he was going to be jealous. But they didn't go that route. Um, Like it wasn't like it didn't consume him like I thought it was. Yeah, these guys are creepy, bro. I like this here when she thought the gun got her and the emotional emotion from her and the acting here. I thought she, I mean, I love her. I love her so much. So just to see her here, younger version of her is awesome. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And then when Wesley sees this, this is part of my, when Wesley sees it comes here and he's talking about what he, what it was and the jealousy and everything. I thought that it was going to be that he was going to like come that person, that evil thing. Instead, we sent Angel out. <clears throat> we meet the ballerina. Uh, Angel essentially says, like, you know, we need to, I need you to, I don't even get the point of this, right? <clears throat> we didn't need her. We could have just broken the thing anyway. Because all she does is do a different dance for a second. The guy stands up and then we break his thing. Very anticlimactic ending for him. But it was good nonetheless. We also didn't even really get, like, any real backstory about him, really. He just was obsessed with the ballerina, wanted her for himself, and that was it. Uh, but yeah, rock solid episode though. And then, yeah, Cordelia's way I'm not gonna do that. But that's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, picture for the full reaction. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.